Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how if you do this, your Samsung will do that. Pretty much you are creating shortcuts or you're pretty much just giving your Samsung phone prompts where again, if you do this, it's going to do that. You've noticed that with different fingerprints, it was able to go and open to a different application or to the home screen. You'd also be able to make a prompt where if you are directly connected to any of your Bluetooth speakers, if it's Buds or if it's another Bluetooth speaker, it'll automatically start playing the music. So if you walk outside with a big Bluetooth speaker and you turn on that Bluetooth speaker, that means that more than likely you will want to listen to music, which is how my life is. I go outside, I take the Bluetooth speaker outside, and the moment that I just turn Turn that thing on once they pair up the music starts playing automatically so what I wanted to do was challenge myself with this video where I was playing with Samsung modes and routines now the thing about modes and routines is that you know I wasn't a huge fan of it maybe they've probably evolved over the last few years some people were writing comments of you should make a video for modes and routines now I didn't really find a really big use case scenario for it until I actually found some use case scenarios for it and now i have to share with you my findings on how you're just able to do this and your samsung phone will do that so all you'd have to do is when you find and you search for the application on your samsung phone that is called modes and routines so you can just do that like down here you can just do search if you can't find it immediately if you even if you can't find it through here or through your normal settings of your phone for me i have the application right here so i have a samsung folder that i have created every single samsung application is inside of there so this way if i want to change or play with anything dealing specifically with samsung apps they are all sitting right here so when you open up modes and routines you are greeted with three different tabs you have modes you have routines which these are the ones that you have created and set up and all of these are actually all automatic routines because i have a if this then that happens and then you also have discover. So this way, if you are trying to learn exactly what all you could do with modes and routines, this is where you can start learning a few things. And this right here is what prompted me to make this video and actually look through modes and routines a little bit more. And that is also how I found how you can unlock your Samsung phone with pretty much whatever fingerprint you want, and it'll go to whatever application you want, uh, or even a action with a application. So right here you have Play Media with Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. This is the one that I found that prompted me to shoot the video. That means that once you are paired with your Galaxy Buds 3 Pros, it's gonna start playing media for you. And about 100% of the time that I throw these in my ears, it's because I'm at the gym and I wanna listen to some music. Now, as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at just a few more additional things of you know what you are uh, able to do. So as you scroll around and you take a look at a few things, one of the things is you can always get key notifications. So if you get a notification, so basically one is received, uh, then your sound mode, let's say that it was on mute, then you can actually have a, a little edge lighting effect and you can choose which edge lighting effect you want to happen. And then it's also going to vibrate once for you and you can choose which type of vibration you want to happen. So if you were on mute and you got a key notification, boom, it's actually going to do something for you. And you can actually go through all these and you can edit them and you can save them. Uh, when it comes down to modes over here, you can create one for like the theater. So if you chose that you were at a movie theater, uh, you're gonna select it that it's for two hours, which is probably almost the average time. You can select it where your phone's gonna go on do not disturb. Uh, you can have like always on display, you know, probably turn off your dark mode turned on. You also have more things for your watch, like the always on display will be turned off, raise wrist to wake will be off, your touch screen to wake will be off, and your sound mode would then be on vibrate. So those are actually for your watches because again it is connected to your samsung phone so let's take a look at what i have set up and probably more than likely you guys might do something very similar to this because it's dealing with bluetooth and music uh, and it's also dealing with what happens if i uh, unlock my phone with my right index it's going to open up an application if i open uh, or if i put my left index finger it'll open up my youtube studio and then pretty much my phone is already set to where if i use my two thumbs either one it's just going to unlock the phone so that means that I can use pretty much uh, four different fingers to do something different. So when it comes down to Bluetooth, how I have this one set up, right? I go to this little plus button and it says this. So if, then that. So if, let's say that we go to, we scroll down and we take a look at Bluetooth device, which means that if we connect to a Bluetooth device, let's say that we go to the Galaxy Buds 3 Pros, uh, and once they are connected, then 
what I want it to do is play music or you can have it do something else. Uh, so if you want it to like open up a different application, you can have it open up a different application if you plan on using uh, your buds for something else. So you can actually choose which app you want it to do or if you want it to open your phone or something. But I'm going to just choose play music. And then you choose where you are going to listen to your music. So if you use Spotify or if you use YouTube Music or whatever you may use, uh, you can actually just select it. And when you're done, you hit on done. But I already have this one created. It's actually sitting right back here on my last page. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right back here and you can see here, I have two of them set up for Bluetooth. I set it up to where if Bluetooth is connected to the Galaxy Buds 3 Pros, then it's going to open up YouTube Music. When the routine ends, which means that I am not connected to that Bluetooth uh, you know, uh, headset. It's just going to stop the music for me. So I'm going to look back right over here. This is my party box. So I have that big JBL party box 110 uh, that I always take outside when we go outside for an extended amount of time and we want to listen to music. And I'll actually show a video here in just a couple seconds of it just working and you seeing it in action. If I'm connected to this Bluetooth speaker, then it'll play YouTube music. And when it is turned off, it's just going to stop my music. And let me show you what that looks like right here in real time. Okay, so check this out. So anytime we go outside, I bring the speaker out. And anytime I turn this on, we always listen to music. So this is my phone right here. It's actually, you know, on the lock screen and everything. Check this out. So all I got to do is hit the power button. And once this turns on, this is connected as a Bluetooth to my device and because anytime I turn this speaker on we always listen to music once it's connected it'll actually start playing automatically now next up I wanted to create a few additional ones so this one right here is wired headphones so again if I plug in some wired headphones which down here would be either with a type-c dongle or just a type-c headset then it'll just open up my YouTube music. Again, that's what I use to listen to music. So if I am connected to usually something, I'm just listening to music. I'm not really doing anything else. This is where you create it for your fingerprint. So this one's actually pretty easy. You go to the plus and then you go to the if. So if I go all the way down, uh, this is where you have the option for unlock with fingerprint. Now today I did take a look at a lot of this stuff and I kind of made a few and then I deleted a few just because I wanted to see what all you are able to do. So with this, I went to unlock with fingerprint and I was like, okay, well, if I unlock with my thumbs, then it'll do this. But originally my thumbs are set up just to unlock my phone, which just means it goes to the home screen. So I created two additional uh, fingerprints inside of here. So I created a profile for my right index finger and I created a profile for my left index finger. So this way I'd be able to set these things up. So if I chose unlock with fingerprint right index, uh, then what would happen, uh, it would actually open up a application. So I scroll down and then you go to apps. Now this is where you could do open an app or do an action. So it's not only just opening an app, but you can actually make it do several things. So for example, let's say that you wanted to, instead of just opening up Amazon shopping, you can have it uh, open up Amazon shopping and go directly to your orders or go directly to look at the deals of Amazon. So as you scroll on down, you'll see that there is a ton. Uh, and again, if you need to just search for something, you just search it for, you know, on the very top. Uh, again, as you keep on scrolling down, so when it came down to that Discord, I had a whole bunch of different conversations inside of there. So rather than it just opening up Discord, it can actually go to a conversation, which is pretty cool. But as you scroll through, you'll just want to find what you want to find. And so this is where I set it up to where if I use my right index, it's going to go over into uh, the, the game that I was playing, which is the Whiteout Survival. So if I just show it to you, so this is right to Whiteout and I create my little name for it. So if I unlock with my right index finger, then it'll open up Whiteout Survival. The next one that I also have created is left to YouTube Studio. So usually I wake up and I always take a look at my YouTube Studio or I look at it probably five times a day just to make sure that my views are going fine. I can uh, comment back on comments that you guys write underneath these videos. So if I unlock it with my left index finger, I can then go directly over into YouTube Studio. Uh, I also have another one right here that says get notified when fully charged. So what will happen is that if my phone actually goes to 100%, then I will have a edge lighting effect. It's also going to vibrate once. My always on display will be on, and then I'm gonna have a custom notification and it's going to read it aloud stating, battery fully charged, uncharge the charger. 
So once it gets to 100%, it's gonna let me know that it is at 100%, I just need to unplug it. So this is where you are able to create your own. Again, you just hit this little plus button. And if there's any of these that you don't want, you can press and hold and you can either disable it because it is automatic, or you can delete it however you want to do if you want it to be just you know disabled for a little bit so to show the fingerprints again if i use my right thumb it'll go into just my home screen also if i use my left thumb it'll go into the home screen as well i'm at a weird angle so i had to lift it a little bit when it comes down to this one if i use my right index it's going to take me over into the game of whiteout and then if i use my left index it's going to take me over into youtube studio or whatever you want it to go to and again anytime i connect uh prompted any of my bluetooth headsets or my speakers, it's going to start playing the music automatically. And anytime that they are disconnected, it'll stop the music automatically. So that is how you're able to play around with modes and routines. There was a lot inside of there, but I wanted to share with you the ones that I use and how I set them up because I feel like that could probably help just the general audience of everybody watching because you do unlock your phone with fingerprints and you unlock your phone to go do something. So if you can remember where your fingerprints are, you can just open up those applications quicker or do those actions quicker. Same thing with music. Everybody listens to music. So if you connect to something, maybe you just want it to go automatically without you having to go and find your music player. So again, you do this, your Samsung does that. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.